What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today I'll talk about Red Dead Redemption 2 as a whole and has it been a disappointment since launch. Now, when this game originally came out, and I still believe this wholeheartedly, that the story for me is one of the top three best games I probably have ever played. The story was absolutely amazing. But once you have done everything in game, there's not a lot left to do, especially with the online mode. Now the online mode came out post-launch, but it is still in beta form and there's still not a lot been added to the online mode and there really has been nothing added or even talked about being added to the single player mode. Now as we all know Rockstar is kind of an odd company. They don't really talk about what they're going to do until it's about to come out. But I, I think they need to be talking about doing things for the game as a whole whether it be in single player or in the online mode now because if they don't what little bit of people that are still playing is definitely going to be gone. If you have beat the story, you're pro probably not even thinking about this game anymore. And what is disappointing about this to me is, I, and I know that Rockstar has had some things going on within the company. People quitting, fired, whatever the case may be. So that could be slowing some things down. But if you follow games, you know that GTA Online, GTA 5 Online, gets a lot of things added to the game, whether it be a daily or weekly basis, and Red Dead Online is just kind of left here. Now, we have talked about things in videos that I have made in the past, like adding bank robberies, stagecoach robberies, a lot of things that you could do within game that would make the online experience more enjoyable. Of course, the whole house purchasing idea in the online mode that was talked about right before the game was released and really has never been touched on again. Those are some disappointing things, I, I think, that have not come to the online mode that has really hurt this game. Now, would this get to be as a m more of a uh, popular game like GTA Online or GTA 5 Online would be? I'm not sure if it would ever be that popular, but I still think it would have a good following, a good player base if there were things brought to the online mode that are not here as, you know, kind of as we're playing right now. The other thing I think that should really be looked at is some story content added for single player fans. This is not a game that we're not going to have Red Dead Redemption 3 in another year or two. So we're looking probably five to seven years down the road before we even would get another Red Dead game. And that's if we get another one at that point because Rockstar has talked about they haven't decided if this is where they're going to end the story or they're going to continue it, whatever the case may be. But I look at things like Assassin's Creed Odyssey that came out early or not early, but late last year, kind of early, you know, going into this year that fall kind of release. And Odyssey, whether you like the content or not they've added, they have done a good job with adding a lot of single-player content into the game to like just kind of to progress the story. And I think Red Dead Redemption 2 could definitely do some things with some other characters even to progress the story along or to kind of go back before the story even started to kind of how they got to be, you know, where they're at now. I think single-player content would be phenomenal for this game because, like I said, you're going to be a long time before you're getting another Red Dead game. And the way that the online mode is going, it's just kind of a big disappointment to me that there's not more going on with this game. Now, if you added some great things into the online mode, added some new storylines into the single player mode, or even added some new animals to hunt into single player, maybe some, uh, you know, bounty kind of things into the single player where you have to go after high value targets and, and kind of single player and kind of wrap that into some story. I think this would be a very enjoyable experience for people going forward. And you wouldn't have to do it every single month, but every couple months you could come back and play Red Dead and have a good several hours worth of content single player wise to play and some new exciting things to play within the online mode. And I think this would help the game out a lot. And I think you would get a lot of players back because as of right now, I am disappointed with what has happened post launch. Like I said before, it was one of the best games that I have ever played story wise. And I really want to see more from this game because I know how long it's going to be before we get another Red Dead style game. So hopefully Rockstar will get their stuff worked out and uh, add some things into the game that everyone will enjoy, whether you're an online fan or a single player fan. But leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think about the situation, what you would like to see. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.